Fourth been, uh, largest in the world, people. Fourth largest in the world. You got to come down here and check it out. You can watch this show all you want, but you need to come down here and check it out. It's time for another episode of Suburban Motors HGTV. My name is Bob Odin. My name is Rob Bluma. Fourth largest in the world. How many times do I have to say it? There's a reason for it. It's not an accident. No, it's not an accident. There's many reasons for it. First of all, that we're a lot cooler than everybody else. No. Totally. <laughs> Seriously. And we're on this show. That's right. Seriously, we are, as far as volumes, as far as the volume of pure motorcycles sold, we are the fourth largest in the world. Believe it or not, we're number two in parts. So what that means for you at home, we have all the bikes you need, all the parts, whatever. It's here. It's waiting for you. Oh, you can w- watch the show. We're going to demonstrate some of the products that are available, but you're only going to see a small portion of the actual bikes that are in stock here. Because you know what? We're the fourth largest. That's right, the fourth largest. And being that big, you can't put all the bikes on the show because all you see is nothing but bikes, and we would have nothing to say. It'd be pretty boring. But again, you need <laughs> I to get think we'd have something to say about everyone. Here, so. But you need to come down here and get the experience yourself. Spring is right around the corner. Get your butt off the couch. Throw buns of steel or whatever you're never going to use again to the side and get your ass on a Harley. In case you don't know this already, people, it was in the paper last week. Suburban Motors Harley-Davidson in Buell in Thienesville, Wisconsin is fourth in the world, second in parts. Wayne, tell us all about that and how you got accomplished that feat. Well, I'll tell you what we do. We have a lot of parts here. We have a bigger inventory than any other dealers do. And so we've, any part they've got, we don't have to order them. They're here immediately if your bike breaks down. So that's one of the things why we sell so many parts. And the other thing is I think we take care of the, as far as the people they come in, the sales of, as far as the motorcycles go. We have a lot of inventory right now, and we want to take care of the people as, as good as anybody, better than anybody does, but we feel we do a better job than anybody does. So therefore, it's really simple. All you got to do is treat the people better than anybody else does and give them a fair price, and that's what happens. So now that the awards are in and whatnot, do you, are there any directors or producers you would like to thank? Oh, sure. I'd like to thank you guys for producing and directing this thing, and I think you've helped us a lot, too, as far as sales go. And uh, people are always coming in here saying, hey, there's, they see you on TV. They say that to me a lot, too. Great-looking uh, 2005 Heritage Springer. It Classic. Is. Yes. With the vintage styling, very nice bike, 2005. I couldn't think of a better way to start off the brand new year with a brand new Harley Davidson with the great deals that they have here at Suburban Motors, Harley Davidson Buell, 139 North Main Street. What the hell do you think, Rob Bluma? I think I still have sunburn, and that really hurts. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so I take it back. <laughs> and check it out, everybody. Russ Maycock is back. He's back from his sabbatical. Where was he at again? Guam. Guam. He's in the Peace Corps. Right, the toughest job you'll ever love. He was saving baby seals in Guam. Guamamole. Guacamole? I can anyway, some guacamole. Ah, and a cold one. Yes. 2005 Heritage Classic. And a cheeseburger. <laughs> and a cheeseburger. We've talked about this bike before, the Springer front end. Russ Maycock himself has a Springer. So if you'd have any questions about how the Springer rides, why is it different from your normal front end, this is the man you want to come talk to. And the cool thing of this bike is it is brand new for 2005. It just came out. And, of course, spring is right around the corner, people. This is the end of February. Yeah. We're going to be at the auto show. So, of course, you want to see this bike. You come to the auto show. Check it out. But what that means is, you know, riding season is upon us already. Yoo-hoo! Yeah. And, you know, there's no better way to start off spring than with a Springer. You know, if I got this motorcycle, I'd get customized plates that say daddy o. <laughs> you get a plate that says get help. <laughs> like, your, you like your plate that says dork. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Nothing, dork. Dork? You big dork? Gosh. <laughs> Golly gee, Beeves. Anyways, Anyways, this great looking 2005 Heritage Classic Springer. Get a load of this, folks. Under 20 grand, you can get this bike. Not only under 20 grand, under 18. There's a hobbit trying to hop on one of the bikes. That just proves how some of these bikes are just made for anybody. $17,280. That's where this bike is starting out. You need to come in, Suburban Motors. We are just 10 miles north, or a burnout, burnout, of downtown Milwaukee. Come see Russ Baycock. He is the man that will hook you up. Lars here is on a brand new, blinkity blink, 2005 Ridley. 
interesting thing about this bike, folks, is if, uh, if you're interested in not shifting at all whatsoever, you don't have to shift on this. It's automatic. It is an automatic. This is the first fully automatic production motorcycle made in the United States. It is Ridley, which is made actually in Oklahoma. All the stuff you see here, you know. Oklahoma, Oklahoma, Oklahoma. You like Oklahoma. Oklahoma with the <laughs> Banana hammocks. Banana hammock is today's word. So if you are drinking to this and you hear Bob Odin say. Banana hammock. You have to have a swig of your drink. Anyways, fully automatic, low seat height. As you can see, Lars here. He's only five foot one, and his legs are firmly planted on the ground. This bike comes completely loaded. Bags, pipes, lots of chrome, and again, ready for summer. And it's an automatic, and it's an automatic great deal at under $17,000, $16,995. But we are putting on the auto show special for this show. So you come in brand new Ridley, quit sniffing the gas, freaks. <laughs> Not $16,995. Wow, that does smell good. The gas cap quickly. Take a big hit of the gas, Rob, and then give that low price. By the way, we don't recommend this at home. Don't try this at home. He's a professional. Fourteen nine ninety five. Here, take a hit of that. They're, they're thinking you better. That, you dropped that price two grand. So <laughs> you better smell all the gas caps. <laughs> Fourteen nine ninety five. Brand new Ridley can be yours. Dude, whenever I'm hitting on that gas, I like to drop the price. <laughs> So no matter what you're looking for here at Suburban Motors, Harley Davidson and Buell, especially in the accessories department, motor clothes department, I have Suzanne here with me. Hi, Suzanne. How are you? Good. How are you, Bob? I'm doing fantastic, actually. How are you? Uh, great. Tell us about some of the new things coming in for 2005 that you've noticed coming in the door as of right now, even today. Today. Yeah, we just got a few things in in the last two days. We got leathers, and we got helmets, and we got, oh, a lot of new bar accessories, and we got women's shirts, a sweater. Uh, we got a little bit of everything, pins, belts, everything for the new season, for spring. Now, last year, the new thing was the uh, the number one insignia, which was brought in by AMF in the 70s. Now, is there anything beyond that? Yeah, this year they're doing a lot with the skull, and then they have a dagger with, um, like, a flowery image around it for the ladies and everything. It's kind of cool looking. Now, I notice that there's always a continually rotating stock of stuff that's on sale here, right? Um, yes, there is continuously. We put things marked down, things from the old seasons and everything. So some of that will probably be going on sale. But just because it's the old season, it's still in style and cool stuff, right? Such as? It's always in style, Bob. 